So I'm here today with Armand Dorian, uh, who's the Chief Executive Officer of USC Verdugo Hills Hospital, which serves uh, the cities of Glendale and La Cunada, as well as the surrounding Foothill communities. Verdugo Hills is an integral part of the health system and the communities it serves. And Dr. Dorian, you first joined Verdugo Hills Hospital in 2015 and later became the Chief Medical Officer before your current role as the Chief Executive Officer. What are the biggest changes you've seen over the past seven years? But a lot has changed. You know, Verdugo Hills is almost at its 50th anniversary um, for being there. And it, it was really created to serve the community by the community. And it was funded by the community. It wasn't really affiliated with anybody. Uh, and that community tie uh, with passionate physicians and nurses really kept it going for many years. Uh, but as with the changes in healthcare, um, it needed support and it was not going to survive on its own. And so in that quest of who we could best partner with, the best of all worlds happened. And being a part of Keck Medicine was a dream come true because we were able to bring the academic expertise, expertise with you know, excellent leadership, meld that with a place that has an amazing culture, a heart to dedicate itself to the community. And uh, when I think about it as a physician, there's been a, a lot of advances in medicine, right? Um, medications, technology, but probably the most important aspect of care is time, time of delivery of care. So you can have the greatest tools, the greatest doctors, but if you can't get to see them, that's a problem. So having a community hospital, being able to serve, and it's, it's very straightforward what their goal is, to serve the community, mm -hmm. they get a doorway into the greatest or best care possible. That is, I mean, that's the recipe for success for best delivered healthcare. You're an expert in emergency medicine. Uh, you teach emergency medicine at the Keck School of Medicine of USC. You've conducted research in your field uh, of expertise. What should people know today about the emergency department at Vertigo Hills Hospital, and how do people decide what emergency room do they go to? Almost half of all of healthcare in the United States is delivered in emergency rooms. And the reason for that is it's basically the safety net for everybody because when they can't get access, when they can't get to their doctor, there's somebody there waiting for them. Now, the difference that we've been able to provide at Verdugo Hills is we have the highest level board certified professors of emergency medicine, the, the individuals who are teaching all the emergency room physicians sitting there waiting to be able to serve our community. And so they're gonna be treating you with the latest information, great technology, and when there is something that needs a higher level of care, they're able to access the system and deliver that. What impresses you most about uh, your colleagues at Verdugo Hills Hospital? You know, I, I, I had an opportunity to work at almost a dozen other hospitals. Uh, and this is a long time ago, and I ended up choosing to work at Verdugo Hills Hospital because of the love that the people who worked there had for their community and for what they did. Every single individual at Verdugo Hills, when they come to work, and this has become my motto, is all we do is we do two things. Every day when you drive to work, you're gonna just do two things. You're there to help our patients, and you're there to help our people. Dr. Dorian, can you talk a little bit more about that community hospital, like Verdugo Hills Hospital, and the matchup with an academic medical center like Keck Medical Center in, in what that means for, for your patients. Let's talk about the emergency department. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's exactly where I was gonna go. It was so apparent to me that that relationship was going to be a win, but it really hit home when it actually affected a patient I was caring for. Um, it was a patient who was actually a volunteer at our hospital who uh, ended up showing up to the ER with an obvious stroke. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know when it comes to stroke, time matters. And so luckily she was within the window for us to give the clot busting medication for that stroke. But prior to doing that, we immediately contact the neurology team, the academic neurology team at USC, and we're tied in with amazing neurologists who are able to help evaluate the patient and together make the decision to give the clot busting medication. But it doesn't end there. The next step after that is we're able to coordinate a transfer of that patient from our emergency department directly to the neurointensive care unit at Keck, 
Why is this important? Because at this institution here, at Keck Hospital, you're able to do really advanced interventional treatments if that clot-busting medication doesn't work. Well, Armand, your, your leadership at Verdugo Hills Hospital has just been super special. Uh, it's been great to watch you kind of enter into the role and really uh, establish yourself there. The trust and credibility that you've established in your leadership role and then how that's transmitted to trust and, and credibility with our patients in the community has been nothing short of uh, uh, spectacular. And so I want to thank you for taking your time to visit with us today and I want to wish you and Verdugo Hills Hospital all the greatest success. Thanks, Rod.